Tim Grocer. Mr Speaker, I uh, listened very carefully to the Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and the co-leader of the Green Party, and I have to say, though I'm not surprised, they continue to grossly misrepresent the purposes of this bill, its specific safeguards and the context from which this bill was drawn. It is irresponsibility of a significant degree. Now, we all know, Mr Speaker, about opposition politics, OK? There's got to be some slack given to opposition politics, where things that were done when the party was in government are airbrushed out of reality. Fine. But, Mr Speaker, there are some limits that have to be observed. And we could debate, probably inconclusively, where they should stop before you start to undercut the fundamental concept where government proposes, opposition opposes. But we can't debate where it starts. And where it starts, Mr Speaker, is national security. Now, I'm not going to address the Green Party's issues. You know, I think Mr Coleman has very adequately summed up in his previous comments exactly where the real heart of the Green Party stands. But we expect a higher standard of care from the Labour Party because they do not when they were in government. They did, gave us no signal that they thought they were living in political la-la land where there are only naughty Teletubbies that just need better information to make more informed decisions. They understood when they were in government about national security. They understood the types of crimes that the GCSB has been involved in, unfortunately without adequate safeguards, which this bill is about to correct around terrorism, around people smuggling, around fundamental threats to New Zealand's national security. And on this issue, the Labour Party should have showed a far higher level of responsibility and accepted this was absolutely necessary to clarify the purposes of this bill. Mr Speaker, we are just, as I said, airbrushing out of reality the fundamental problem with the bill that they introduced in 2003. And to get up and start to make speeches about expansion of spying powers is fundamentally irresponsible. The core operational clause of the 2003 bill says, and I state, GCSB may assist any public authority or other entity in New Zealand or abroad on any matters that is relevant to the function of that public authority or entity. Mr Speaker, you could drive a civil liberties bus through that clause. There were so few protections of a legal and political nature around the original 2003 Labour legislation. This bill, I'm not going to go on, this is very straightforward, this bill puts roadblocks in the way. This is no longer a highway down which any government agency can apply on any matters that's relevant without proper safeguards, without proper legal procedures, and channeled through only three institutions of the state. The real reality is that this is a matter of national security. We are tidying up through putting in place proper legal and constitutional safeguards that will actually narrow the scope, narrow, not expand the scope of GCSB. And the fact that the Labour Party, I've no confidence whatsoever that we talk for the next 10 years, the Green Party would ever get this point. The fact that the Labour Party is stirring up legitimate concerns of New Zealanders in a way that is totally at variance with the fact is simply outrageous. I, I call the right honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, the sincerity of that last speech is evidenced by the fact that the man who gave it is just back.